Hello everyone, Captain Billy J here. Welcome to Saturday Night Live with the Captain. It is Saturday night, kicking off the live shows tonight. Is your Captain himself, Captain Billy J. Welcome to Captain Billy J Travels. And uh, tonight we're going to talk about drinks. So these lovely drinks here, we're going to talk about drinks. We're going to talk about alcoholic drinks. We're going to talk about non-alcoholic non drinks or zero zero alcoholic, whatever they're called. Uh, we're going to talk all about those on carnival ships. So we're talking about carnival ships. So you're in the right place. You want to talk about cruises and drinking because there's a lot of drinking on carnival ships, especially the bigger ships. We'll get into all of that tonight. But uh, thank you guys for hanging out with me uh, on a Saturday night. Again, we're kicking off the live show. So right after me, um, well, actually, not after me. The Traveling Gilberts normally go live after me, but they are not going live uh, this Saturday. Uh, so you'll have a break. Uh, so we, if we go a little longer, we'll, that's fine. Uh, but um, you can also check out some Billy J videos in the meantime. Uh, and then, normally after Traveling Gilberts, you have a couple of choices. You have Adventures Ahead with Josh and Michelle, but I don't believe they're going live tonight either. Um, so yeah, they're, they're not having a live show either, um, but you can go over to Griswold Family Vacay. They're doing Celebrity Family Feud, or not so Celebrity Family Feud, uh, so check that out tonight. Um, I believe it is Creators versus Supporters tonight, so check that out. And then after uh, Griswold Family Vacay, come on over to the World Wrestling Vlog with uh, Moon... Uh, Moonlight, Josh, um, your referee, Billy J. Uh, Paul Vines will not be there. He is on a cruise today. So, uh, Meg and Paul, if you see this or not, enjoy your cruise on the Carnival of Valor. Uh, that's going to be an awesome time. I'm glad you guys are going to have a good uh, cruise. And um, you might expect a little gift from the captain in the next day or so. So, keep an eye out for that. Uh, but yeah, they're on a cruise, so yeah, Paul will not be there on the World Wrestling Vlog, but we're going to talk about referee uh, and the referee's role, and I know all about that because I'm 20 years experience as a referee, so we're going to talk about that on the World Wrestling Vlog later tonight. But thank you guys for showing up tonight. Uh, let's take a look, and uh, oh, first, let me first mention, again, we had the Raid Parade yesterday. Again, if you don't know what the Raid Parade is, a bunch of creators from the cruise travel, RV, nomadic, all those kind of different communities gathered together and we premiere uh, vlogs back to back in the raid parade. Uh, so you go you go from vlog to vlog, creator to creator, and you're doing the chats, you can talk to uh, different people on there, you can leave comments and leave likes and stuff like that. So it's pretty awesome raid parade. It was a little shorter raid parade yesterday. Um, and the captain had a video in there, it was his Airbnb video uh, from my trip to Manchester, New Hampshire. So in case you missed it, you can check it out after this show tonight because you'll have some time. Um, otherwise, um, it wasn't the most exciting vlog, but uh, it, it's still interesting. Uh, next Friday, though, tune in next Friday, Raid Parade. I have a train ride video coming out. I'm pretty proud of it. Um, I like the music that I chose for it, and I think you guys are going to like the music and the scenery, definitely. Uh, on my train ride uh, video next Friday. So check that out. All right. Uh, let's take a look in the chat and see who is here. First, very first person that came into the chat was Anthony Simone. Welcome aboard, Anthony. He is my first moderator. And yeah, first one in the chat tonight. Uh, Megan will not be here as well. Meg will be on the cruise. Unless they jump in. Uh, they're sailing out of New Orleans right now. So we have Scott Smith. He has permission to come aboard. Welcome aboard, Scott Smith. I told him he has to buy a round of drinks. Uh, he says he might do it. So everyone is going to drink free thanks to Scott Smith. That includes guests and crew. So welcome aboard. Um, all right, Anthony says, showtime. Uh, Journey Awaits is here. Welcome aboard. The Journey Awaits. Good to have you in here. Ryan Donahue is in here. Welcome aboard, Ryan. Uh, good to see you back in Manchester, New Hampshire a while back. Um, that was awesome. And speaking of Manchester, New Hampshire, there's Jane and Travel, John and Nancy. Welcome aboard, John and Nancy. Got to meet them in Manchester, New Hampshire as well, too. Miss Virginia Holder's in here. Welcome aboard, Virginia. It was her birthday yesterday. So 
everyone in the chat, feel free to wish Virginia a happy birthday or a happy belated birthday, but it was her birthday yesterday. So uh, good to have you in here, Virginia. We're going to talk about drinks. Uh, I know Virginia likes to drink. Uh, we'll talk about drinks tonight. Um, and that is all that's in the chat so far. We'll make sure we welcome aboard uh, other people that are that are coming into the chat. Oh, we do have some other people. Adam Bowers is in here. Welcome aboard, Adam. Good to have you in here. I haven't seen you in a while, so good to have you here. Anyways, we're talking about carnival drinks tonight. So let's go ahead and we'll get into um, that. Um, I have put together a slideshow, and I'm going to ask you guys some questions as well about different things. So let's go ahead and get that started. Uh, let me pull up my thing. Let me check out that. And this is working fine earlier, so hopefully we won't have any issues tonight. I hope you guys can hear me and see me just fine. Uh, my microphone that I thought was working is not working, so I'm just going off on my laptop. Oh, and we have some other people showing up late. Uh, we have Jonathan Short is in here. Welcome aboard, Jonathan. Good to have you here. We're talking about drinks tonight on Carnival Ships. Love you, Life. Mike's in here. Welcome aboard, Mike. Good to have you here as well. We also have to welcome aboard Nightbots. So, uh, welcome aboard, Nightbots. Uh, Virginia says, thank you. Birthday wishes, everyone. Yes, I love drinks. Yes, we'll talk about drinks. And unfortunately, Virginia has not been on a cruise yet. But hopefully, uh, we'll get Virginia on a cruise and she can enjoy some uh, drinks on there. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about um, what we're talking about tonight, drinks. Uh, let me pull up the right thing now. Do, 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 do. I hope everyone's having a good Saturday night. Hope, are you guys drinking tonight? I'm having a, um, a drink. I'm having Diet Mountain Dew. Um, so nothing alcoholic, but that's what I'm having tonight. All right. So what's your favorite drink? What's, okay, what's your favorite non-alcoholic drink? So I'm talking about my Diet Mountain Dew. What's your favorite non-alcoholic drink on a ship? Uh, and for those on Carnival Ship, basically, we're talking about Carnival Ship. Um, and Virginia, you haven't been on a Carnival Ship, but uh, what's your favorite uh, non-alcoholic non drink overall? Um, and Carnival does have Pepsi products, and we'll talk about that um, as well. So mine is um, Diet Mountain Dew. And um, so Diet Mountain Dew is my favorite. Um, and that's what I'm drinking tonight in my Red Solo Cup. I'll fill you up. Uh, let's see. And it could be anything because it could be, uh, like uh, Mike said, uh, Java Blue shakes. Uh, I love the milkshakes in Java Blue. Excellent. Uh, yeah, first, he said Nicola Walter. We'll, we'll get into the alcohol drinks in just a second. We're going to start off a little little slow because we have some people that don't drink at all. Um, so I want to cover everyone uh, that takes a drink. Maybe it's water. Maybe you'll have water as well. Um, Sean and I are in the back of the car currently, and Caitlin is driving in the rain. Oh, okay. Well, drive safely, Caitlin. Drive safely. Uh, let's see. Um, Scott says that, that passion fruit juice they serve at breakfast. Oh, yes. Yeah, awesome. And I don't have that on my list of drinks tonight, but I forgot. Yeah, there's different juices you can get uh, on the Sea Day brunch. Uh, they have different uh, juices. I think like $5 for the juices. Um, I didn't grab a list of that, but uh, yeah, that's definitely out there. Anthony says fishbowl. We'll get into alcohol drinks soon. Um, let's say we're not alcoholic fishbowl. I'm not sure of that. Well, yeah, I know I asked what we were drinking tonight, but I'm, we're going to start off with non-alcoholic, and then we're going to get into the alcoholic. I know, I know a bunch of you guys are on alcoholics. I know that. Uh, Tommy says water. Oh, welcome aboard, Tommy. Uh, water, which will be my answer for everything. Well, let's see. There's a, there's a non-drinker right there. So, uh, What kind of water, Tommy? Do you like the Aquafina that's on Carnival Ships, or do you like a different type of water? Do you like, like toilet water, tap water? <laughs> Jonathan says, Coke, Pepsi is my favorite. However, I'm not drinking anything but mainly water right now. Okay, cool. Uh, Jim says, but I like sparkling water, Gatorade, Arnold Palmer, tea, and lemonade. Awesome. Anthony says Coke. Um, and we have the Down Under Cruisers are in here. Welcome aboard. Good day, Seaman Sean. Good to have you here. Uh, you didn't say Admiral. You just said Captain. So I'm disappointed. Uh, Sean, you need to go um, 
swab my decks or something. Tyler says, plain old tap water, not a water snob. Ah, not a, not a water snob, eh? Okay. Love the Mike says, uh, quit drinking soda three months ago. Water only other than a shake every once in a while. Well, that's, that's good, Mike. Um, I used to drink regular soda quite a bit, and I've um, switched to diet mostly. I want the occasional regular soda, but I can't get rid of my soda. i got to have my diet Mountain Dew for sure. i got to have the caffeine, and I don't drink coffee or tea or anything like that. So i got to have my caffeine, and this is the way I get my caffeine. All right, good, excellent. So let's go ahead and proceed. Um, so uh, those that haven't been on Carnival or those that are on Carnival, you know that Carnival switched over from Coke products to Pepsi products. So here's a picture of Christine Duffy. Um, and I'm not sure who that woman is. I don't know if she's like a beverage person or what she is. I'm trying to look her up. but she isn't, I don't know if she's part of Pepsi or what. But anyways, um, but yeah, so there's the different Pepsi products that they now have. There's my Diet Mountain Dew in the corner over here. Um, let's see. Oh, Mike says, uh, I was drinking seven to eight Diet Mountain Dews. Whoa, Mike. Wow. Um, I, I don't drink that much, but I do drink probably three or four Diet Mountain Dews a day. Maybe more. Um, <laughs> uh, this depends on the day. But, wow, that's a lot, Mike. Uh, that, that's good. I just got um, cut out of that soda. SCT Ventures in here. Sikata. Welcome aboard, Greg, and if Felicia's there, hello. I'm sorry I missed your live last night. I was at my dinner with my neighbors. Uh, we had um, a Greek we had a Greek restaurant last night, but I ate pasta at a Greek restaurant. So most people ate pasta, um, but yeah. So, but uh, it was good. So sorry I missed your live. I did catch, catch the replay, though, uh, this morning. Uh, so check out SCT Adventures. They go live on Friday evenings at uh, 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central. Um, Johnson said we met Christine on the Mardi Gras. Awesome, yeah, I haven't met her yet, so I would like to meet her. Uh, Sean says, sorry, sir, glad you gave me that order in an accent other than a Kiwi accent. And well, I don't know Kiwi. I know strawberry, strawberry accent? Uh, I don't know Kiwi. Chris Hall on VK in there, welcome aboard. Again, they're going live. Uh, Danny's going live tonight for his uh, somewhat celebrity uh, family feud, uh, creators versus uh, supporters. So check that out uh, later tonight. Uh, no worries, that's on yet. Yeah, I had, um, what did I have? Oh, I had uh, chicken parm. Chicken parmesan is what I had for dinner last night. All right, excellent. So these are some of the Pepsi products that are available. Plus you get the water and you get the different Starbucks and Gatorades as well and the bubbly. Um, up there, and I got root beer and orange soda and stuff like that. All right, so the debate uh, is that when Carnival switched over from Coke to Pepsi, uh, some people were happy, like me. I'm happy that um, Carnival switched over to Pepsi. Um, so in the chat, I would like you to put uh, C if you're a Coke fan or Coke products, not just Coke, but Coke products, and put a P. Uh, if you are a Pepsi products fan. So C for Coca-Cola products and P for Pepsi products. Put that in the chat. I want to see uh, what you guys are fans of. Uh, but I'm a fan of, of Pepsi products, especially because Mountain Dew, definitely. I drink Mountain Dew, Diet Mountain Dew. Mostly Diet Mountain Dew, but Mountain Dew. Um, now, I do like the occasional Coke, and I'd rather actually have Coke itself over Pepsi um but uh i got i gotta have my diet mountain dew so what are you guys uh fans of are you c are you cook products or pepsi products let me know in the chat um let me see uh tommy's asking mike it's hard to give up sodas it, it is it was a struggle to switch over from regular to diet i know that for myself uh, not at all, Tommy Mike says. I thought it would. Oh, okay. Uh, Anthony says, see, he's a Coke products fan. Uh, Mike says, maybe, maybe a few headaches for a couple of days. Yeah, getting off that caffeine and the sugar. Uh, P for Danny. 50-50 for Mike. That's not, what I, that's not what I said, Mike. You got to choose. It's either Coke products or Pepsi products. One must go. Pick one. <laughs> uh, we like both, but lean Pepsi. Okay. 
Uh, you drink a lot of Coke Zero, too. Okay. Both. Okay, we're going to have both people. Neither prefer fruit juice or water. Okay, for Sean. Uh, prefer Milo's or Milo's Diet Sweet Tea, though. Okay. P for Pepsi. Uh, for Virginia, I like both, though. Dad is C. Okay, excellent. Journey of the Gingers is in here. Walk on board, ladies. Or Lori or Hannah or whoever is there. Uh, walk on board. Uh, we're trying to find out if you are a Coke products fan or a Pepsi products fan. Put that in the chat tonight. We're going to put C for Coca-Cola, P for Pepsi. Uh, Pepsi the pride of Carolinas and invented here. Yep. And then Coca-Cola is in Atlanta. So uh, Pepsi I prefer Diet Mountain Dew too. Awesome, Scott. I knew I liked you. That's why I haven't uh, made you walk the plank yet. Uh, Kelly and Tammy are in here. Welcome aboard, Kelly and Tammy. Good to have you here as well. Dre the Zinters RC, they're Coke product fans. Awesome. All right. Cool. All right. So we got kind of a mix between Coke and Pepsi. I like it because I got my Diet Mountain Dew. Especially when I have the drink package. And we'll talk about that in a little bit as well. Moving on. Uh, so, again, Carnival has the bottomless bubbles package, unlimited soda. Um, I think it's like, what is it, six ninety five a day or seven ninety five? I don't I get the prices. Don't quote me on prices. Uh, and they keep raising prices, so I know that. Um, but, yeah, uh, so that's um, – and I only bought that once. I bought the bubbles package once, um, and I haven't bought it since. All right, so this is what's your favorite drink, but what's your favorite – Alcoholic drinks. We're gonna get. We're gonna switch over to alcoholic drinks. So, what is your favorite alcohol drink on a carnival ship? Uh, what is your favorite alcohol drink on a carnival ship? I'd like you to put that in the chat so I can kind of get an idea. We'll talk about some of the drinks that I like, and then also all the drinks that are available at all the different uh, venues that are on carnival ships. So we'll talk about that. And um, I'm going to kick it off. We're getting our very first answer in the chat. We have uh, Mike, well, he's fat life. He's a cruiser. He likes the cruiser. Awesome. That's good. Um, and I'll get into what mine is while we're waiting for people to answer. So my first uh, favorite alcoholic drink on the ship was the Miami Vice. I lean towards time with the, the, the uh, tropical fruity drinks. Um, I do like my beer as well, too. But... Um, my, my favorite go-to was the Miami Vice. You get the pina colada, strawberry daiquiri mix. Um, so that was my go-to. Um, first couple cruises that I was on, well, first three or four cruises I was on. But then that switched recently. Uh, so now my favorite is Kiss on the Lips. Uh, so Kiss on the Lips uh, is very good. Uh, it's got the uh, mango flavored. Uh, with the grenadine in there, and um, I think it's peach snaps is in there, uh, but it's really good, and I like it, and the last couple cruises, I've ordered uh, quite a few of those, so uh, that's my favorite. Um, let's take a look at the chat and see what people are saying. Uh, Jane, Ginger say, fun ship and the cruiser. Awesome. I have not had either one. I've not had the fun ship, and I've not had the cruiser, so hopefully on my September cruise coming up on the Carnival Horizon. Hopefully, I will try both. Sikita Adventures says, spicy chipotle pineapple martini. I've heard about that. That's at the Alchemy Bar. Um, I would like to try that as well. I'm not a fan of spicy drinks, so hopefully it's not too spicy. Uh, Pepsi on the rocks uh, for Blaine. Welcome aboard, Blaine. Good to have you here. We're talking about alcoholic drinks now. We were talking about, and I know Blaine is not an alcoholic and we were talking, you, you missed the chat earlier, we were talking about non-alcoholic drinks, so uh, he must be a Pepsi products fan, so that's good. Uh, Virginia is not sure if on Carnival, but love screwdriver. Yes, Virginia, you can get a screwdriver, definitely. Uh, those are there. Whole whole range of drinks, we'll talk about that tonight. Uh, Levy says, had it first time, last cruise. Awesome. Uh, Patron Margarita for Danny. That's awesome. He's, he's bougie. He's bougie. He's got to have that Patron. Uh, Sean says, never been on Carnival, but enjoy a beer or red wine. Well, awesome, Sean. I mean, you're going to have a good time on the Carnival Horizon in October. Uh, you're definitely, they have, you can't go thirsty on Carnival. You're going to get lots of drinks on Carnival. Uh, my wife likes the apple martini as well. Awesome. Yeah, I've never been a martini fan, but uh, that's cool. 
Uh, Felicia likes the 40 is the new 20. Again, that's another alch alchemy drink. We'll talk about that in a second as well, too. Fish bowl for Anthony. That's awesome. I think I have a, like, what, two or three different kind of fish bowls? Or maybe, um, I, again, I didn't put the fish bowls on my list either. But, um, yeah, that's also out there. Uh, Jamaican Sunrise for Scott. Uh, they had them at the Red Frog Pub and maybe some of the other ones, too. Awesome, Scott. Uh, I've never had that. Uh, I'm not sure. We normally carry Red Bull on and use it as a mixer. We will find out on our upcoming cruise. Uh, Red Bull, they have, I think they have Red Bull. I'm pretty sure they do. Um, don't quote me on that because I'm not exactly sure. We'll have to find that out. Um, you'd have to talk to Nurse Nancy. Nurse Nancy and Sarah that are on the cruise right now, or Meg and Paul, they can let you know if they have Red Bull um, on the ship. I know that. Uh, Mojito for Kelly and Tammy. <laughs> You mentioned that earlier in Facebook. We might have interest in here. Welcome aboard, Josh. Uh, I will be talking with Josh uh, later tonight on the World Wrestling Vlog. Again, we're talking about the referee's role. Um, and we'll, I'm sure it will be a lot of talk involving around me because uh, I have 20 years experience as a pro wrestling referee. So check that out later tonight after Groups Wall Family Vacay. Uh, is there a 50 is the new 30? I don't, I, I don't know, Mike. I don't know. Uh, Michelle buys a bottle of Malibu rum and mixes with passion fruit drink they have. Awesome. Yeah, I, I love Malibu rum. Uh, so, yeah, Michelle and I would get along quite well. Uh, but that's awesome. All right. So, moving forward. So, those are the drinks that I kind of like, or at least the tropical drinks. I, I mean, I do like beer. I do like my Bud Light. Uh, I wish they had Bud Light lime um, on carnival ships, which would make sense because it's, it's lime and, and you're in the Caribbean. But, uh, oh, well. Anyway, so with the alcohol drinks, there is the Cheers Beverage Program. You can buy the alcohol drinks individually themselves, or you can sign up for the Cheers Beverage Program. Uh, luckily, the last couple cruises that I've been on, I've had a free Cheers Beverage Program thanks to casino offers that I've been on. And there are drinks anywhere on board, not just in the casino, but everywhere on board. So I definitely took advantage of that. And I have that on the Carnival Horizon coming up. In September, so I'm excited to uh, explore more uh, alcohol drinks for sure. All right, so let's talk about the different venues that are on Carnival ships and what they have to offer. So I think we're going in alphabetical order, or pretty close to it. Uh, first, we're going to talk about the Alchemy Bar. So that seems what uh, Greg seems like is the Alchemy uh, drinks. And so this is the uh, this is Alchemy Bar on the Mardi Gras. And I would say that's probably what it's going to look like probably on the celebration as well when that comes out. Um, and then this is what your typical alchemy bar looks like on the other carnival ships, the older carnival ships. So that's what your alchemy bar looks like. Um, and little known fact is I have never had a drink at alchemy bar. I know boo me, boo me, uh, boo. Uh, yeah, I have never had a uh, drink at the Alchemy Bar, but I'm going to change that. This cruise, I'm going to have a drink at the Alchemy Bar uh, because I'm sure we're going to be drinking uh, there on the BBD Rum Run group cruise. So, um, anybody fans of Alchemy, put in put in your fan and what you like at the Alchemy Bar. I know uh, Greg already has put his, but anybody else, feel free to put that in the chat. Uh, Carrie loves his Bud Lights. Awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, it was a really good uh, casino deal. So I had to definitely had to take uh, that offer. I usually pack the Alchemy Bar. Yeah, you got to hit it like right early or uh, different times. Cucumber Sunrise is the best. Awesome, Josh. Uh, we buy more from Red Frog Pub, and we'll get into the Red Frog Pub too. All right, so uh, Sikita says we hung out there quite a bit on our last cruise. Awesome. All right, so uh, you have your... Uh, Pharmacists, or whatever they're called, pouring your drinks here at the Alchemy Bar. All right, and then I'll have to zoom in here so you guys can see. So here's the listings that they have um, at the Alchemy Bar. Now, this may not be a full list, but it's pretty close. Uh, so you got your Passion Potions, you got your Martini, the French Kiss. I know a lot of people like the Deal Closer. Uh, that's there. Um, revved Up Mojito Martini, Perfect Storm. There's that spicy
Yo, everyone still here? I have lost, I lost Wi-Fi internet. I am back. Hope you guys stick around. Um, I'm going to remove my banner because it's going to slow down my phone. I'm on my mobile hotspot. I, I lost internet somehow, but thank you guys for hanging out with me. I apologize uh, for that error. Um, let's take a look at the chat and see what I missed. Um, I'm sorry, guys. Um, let's see. I hate my internet provider right now. Um, Jesse likes the French kiss. That's good. Uh, I had one from Alchemy that tasted just like black licorice. So, okay. It's already 2600 computer. Yeah, I feel like Mike right now with all the technical problems or, or Greg. Greg has technical problems as well, too. Frozen Captain, not a cocktail. Red <laughs> Dog Pub, that's happy too. Four hour half price drinks. <clears throat> yep. Frozen Cocktail. Uh, this is the best captain has looked in a while. Well, I'm back, so there, ha. Gilligan looks like the captain was censored. Yes, uh, sounds much better now for some. Hey, hey, uh, Skipper, <clears throat> did the cat bite his power cord? He, she might have, she might have. Uh, captain has stepped uh, for a draw of grog. Do I, I do believe, yes, grog, yum. Uh, has been overtaken by the matrix, yeah, maybe. <laughs> I've had this happen. Sucks. Yeah, it, yeah, it sucks. I think it's a streamer thing. No, it was my internet. My Wi-Fi went out. <sighs> Do we start heading to the mustard stations? <laughs> nah, we live in the sticks and happens to us all the time. Don't hear anything. Yeah, because I wasn't there. I thought loud, Scott. At least there are calm seas. Yes, uh, he did tell me to swap the decks. Yes, that's what I said. Be your first mate. On a... That's my problem. Meg is not here. I need Meg. I need my first mate bag. Kaya's here. Welcome aboard, Kaya. I'm glad to be back finally. Uh, this is a ship show now. Yes, it is. But Captain Boy stepped out. The ship show. Thank you. Uh, you may be entering giveaways. Yeah, I wish I was. But uh, Winter Billy is just taking talking to himself. I was for a little bit. Uh, your viewers went up. Thanks, Mike. Thanks. Uh, I like to fly in the bridge. Captain Boy JC right now he's speaking in unknown tongues. Yes, Captain is not too happy. Uh, I'm here. <laughs> I'm glad you guys have fun at my expense. Thank you so much. I feel the love. Uh, I thought we were just having a peaceful day at the beach. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Blame it on internet provider. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Kenny. Welcome aboard, Kenny. Uh, uh, he's not tagging, but sending out. Um, sure he's sharing stuff out. This guy is here. Meg goes on vacation and all goes to, you know, yes, it does. I need Meg back. Don't go on any cruises, Meg. Come back. How about Kaya? Yeah, yeah. All right, good. Well, we're back. Let's go back to where we started. Uh, we we're going, we we're talking about the alchemy. Hopefully, my computer won't freeze now that I'm on my mobile data. Not as powerful as my Wi Fi. All right. Um, hold on. Uh, thank you. Kenny, for sure now on live stream on Facebook on YouTube community tab. All right, uh, back to this. So uh, we're talking about the alchemy. So uh, Greg, I mentioned 40 is a new 20. Cucumber Sunrise uh, for Josh. Uh, the Youthful and Bold Bertini is there. All right. Uh, then there's more. Um, let's see. So there's a relief what uh, for what ails is a remedy, pain relief, quick fix, purple sunset, alchemy sidecar, island old fashioned, feral aged Negroni, Moscow mule. I know some people like the Moscow mule, uh, curative peach, cosmopolitan, and the restorative basil drops. So those are the drinks that are available at Alchemy Bar. Um, yeah, and looks like they're so they're like um, twelve dollars. Looks like the drinks are. All right, moving forward. So then, um, then this is not an alphabetical order. This is the Tides Bar. Um, and also, you can get these drinks at different uh, bars on the ship. Oops, too far. So here's a nice uh, quote. Fact, an an antidotes are 17% funnier, or anecdotes are 17% funnier with a drink. All right, so you, a lot of you carnival people have probably have seen uh, the list of cocktails out here. Uh, but they do have the uh, Long Island, Island Iced Tea, Ultimate Margarita, the Mojito. Um, I think uh, Kelly had said in a thing that he was a Mojito fan. There's the Cruiser. 
that I was talking about, Mai Tai, Sex on the Beach. I do like Sex on the Beach, but I don't like Carnival's version of Sex on the Beach. I don't like the vodka. I think that's what the vodka, vodka is. Um, I'd rather have like a, a rum in there instead of a vodka. Um, so then uh, there are sipping drinks as well. Uh, so you got your vodkas, you got your whiskeys, you got your scotch, you got your rum, you got your gin, you got your tequilas, you got your single malts. Well, that's all that out there. Uh, make sure you're not missing anybody in the chat. Uh, uh, yeah, cruiser for uh, Josh. Uh, Kyle likes uh, Mojito. Awesome. Bonjour. Bonjour, Eric B. Welcome aboard. Good to have you here. Uh, I just don't like the sand. And a Mojito? All right. Uh, excellent. So that's that. Uh, of course, then you get your champagnes and wines. So they have white wines, uh, they have red wines, sparkling, ports, cognac, cognacs, and brandies as well. For all you wine drinkers out there and champagnes. Ah, the Barefoot Brute and the Prosecco is the champagnes. All right. And then uh, we got the drinks that I like the Icy Invention. So we got Kiss on the Lips. Mm. I like it because of the peach schnapps. I do like peach schnapps. Uh, but they got the Hurricane uh, Wave. Oh, and the Mango Parade, too, and the Kiss on the Lips. Hurricane Wave. They have the Mocha Chocolate Getaway for you chocolate fans. And then they have all those daiquiris. So this is where you can make your Miami Vice. Combine the pina colada and the strawberry. But they also have banana. Which I tried a banana last time. And I was not a fan. They also have peach. They have raspberry. They have mango. They have lemonade. And then they have hurricane daiquiri. So that's that. Then they have some uh, stuff that are also kids uh, too. Uh, they got peach strawberry combo. They got a mango madness. Strawberry pina colada, and they got a banana split. Um, let's see. Um, Troy S is here. Welcome aboard, Troy. Good to have you here. Kai S says, Kiss on the Lips is my favorite. Yeah, that's my favorite. Uh, one of my favorite tropical drink right now is that drink. All right. Uh, so then they also have martinis. Uh, so you martini fans, which I'm not a martini fan, but uh, there's a Carnival Cosmo, Palm Tini, Apple Tini, Blue Moon, Tiramisu, and they got all your cordials and liqueurs. So those are out there as well. And then all your beer fans. So, oh, oh, they do have the Light Lime. I didn't know they had the Light Lime. I haven't cruised now. I haven't cruised since February, so maybe they've changed it since then. But they do have Bud Light Lime. Awesome! I just saw that. So Bud Light Lime for me. Uh, but they have all your your Budweiser, Bud Light, Up in the Globe Ultra, Miller Life, Coors Light, Sam's Adam, Blue Moon. They got Mike's Hard Lemonade, Angry Orchard, Strong Bow, and they got all your imported beers. So Foster's. I know. I know. Sean from the Downland Cruisers loves a good Foster's beer. That's the uh, beer for Australia, right? <laughs> uh, well, uh, got Dennis Drop, Heineken, Amstel Light, Corona, Corona Light, Los Equis. So I got the Pilsners, I got Stella Artois. They even got gluten free beer for you gluten free people, Stella Daro. Then I got a zero proof beer, Buck Buckler. But yeah, so there's all your beer fans. And some of the cruise ships have the pour, pour your own beer. Uh, so I haven't had, I haven't had, I've seen them. I just haven't had them out of there, but yeah, that's out there. But I'm, that's awesome that they have Bud Light Lime. I would definitely be drinking those too. And then we're back, uh, swinging back to soft drinks. So this is an updated menu. It has the Pepsi products um, out there, um, as well as the Gatorades and the ginger beer. There's a pure leaf tea. We also have the energy drinks. There's a water as well. So that's out there as well. All right, so let me get caught up in the chat. Uh, Danny says, sorry, my Billy, my Mac died. Well, I'm sorry if that was true, Danny. Um, my, my PC didn't die. My Wi-Fi died, though. 
Um, I want to say hello to Eric. Uh, do, 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 do. Sean says, yuck, no self-respecting Aussie drinks Fosters. Now, I was in Austria, not not uh, Australia, but I was in Austria, and there was a bar there, and they had Fosters beer that they were promoting quite heavily. Um, let's see. Pepsi, boo. Uh, one saying hello. Hello, 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 hello. Okay, excellent. All right. All right, uh, 741 and John Nets, yes. And we'll probably go a little later since I had a little snafu. Um, uh, Janice is here. Welcome aboard, Janice. Good to have you here. We're talking about alcoholic drinks. Janice is going to be going on her first carnival cruise, so I'm sure she will partake in some drinking as well. Now we're on the uh, Bar Della Rosa. Now, this is only on uh, Carnival Mardi Gras at this time. It'll be on the newer ships. Um, it probably will not be on the Carnival Celebration, but this is more Italian theme, so I don't know if that will be on there or not. But it might be. Anyways, Bar Della Rosa. So here's the menu uh, there. Um, I never ordered, I think I ordered a drink there once. Uh, cocktails, you got your Prosecco, um, different wines, red, whites, and red. You got your espressos, cappuccinos, lattes, and macchiatos. Uh, that's what's there. All right, moving forward, we got the Blue Iguana Tequila Bar. So this will find you'll find this a staple pretty much on every carnival ship, uh, usually on the Lido deck. Uh, if uh, first any fans of Bar Della Rosa, let that let me know in the chat. Also, any Blue Iguana Tequila Bar fans, let me know uh, what your drink is of choice there. I'll zoom in on the uh, menu here. So this talks about the blue guana. Uh, but they got uh, Dos Eques Michelada. They got draft beers there. They got beer buckets. Of course, they got all your tequilas there at the te tequila bar. Uh, let me take a look at the chat. Uh, and the Pepsi fan. It's kind of awesome. Well, you love, you love that Pepsi uh, carnival switch over to Pepsi. That's for sure. Yeah, no Gilbert tonight. So I didn't see it. Yeah, they're not going live tonight. Neither is Adventures Ahead, I don't believe. Um, so, but uh, so I'll go a little longer if I have to because I lost a little bit of time. Uh, they are taking the night off of Facebook. Yep. Uh, Anthony, what? No Gilberts? Yeah, no Gilberts tonight. I like Pepsi okay, but Mountain Dew is better. Awesome, Janice. I knew I liked you, Janice. Uh, Ultimate Margarita for Josh. Uh, he loves the last video. Awesome. I got. I still got to check out uh, Josh's last video. Uh, yeah, Kaya loves Mountain Dew as well, too. Awesome. All right, so back to the menu. So here's more of the menu at the Blue Iguana uh, Tequila Bar. Uh, so there's a Blue Blue's Patron Margarita. There's that Ultimate Margarita that uh, Josh was talking about. A uh, bite of iguana, agave, pineapple tea, spicy margarita, green iguana, mango margarita, oxycon, rita, tijuana nights, kind of old paloma. So those, and then pictures of margaritas, you can get that as well too, and spiked lemonade. So that oh, and then there's even more, quite a few drinks there. Uh, so they got frozen drinks as well, blue margarita, guava margarita, iguana's classic, chipotle pineapple passion margarita. You can get floaters as well. We got red Caribbean colada, uh, souvenir glasses, and yards, and frosty twisters are out there as well. Plus, they have soft drinks. You can get your drinks, your non alcoholic drinks there as well. All right. Um, let me see in the chat. Uh, Blues Michelada is great too. Awesome. Now we're talking. There we go. Uh, I'll go to Blue Iguana and Red Frog on the Horizon. Awesome, Janice. Uh, are these live shots? No, these aren't live shots. These are just uh, pictures I grabbed. Patron. Uh, Felicia loves tequila shots. I'm sure she does. And she also finds herself in the crew uh, quarters as well. Or So that's what I've heard. Uh, 1800 at Epsilon. Yummy. Just another tequila sunrise. The bite of the iguana is good too. Awesome, Josh. Great. Green iguana is great as well. 
That's thumbs up. Yeah, thank you. Hit this thumbs up button. Only nine thumbs up. Come on, people. You know where that thumbs up button is. You got to hit that up. Um, yeah, I don't know. We don't have a whole lot of people on here. Uh, it's Saturday night. So people who are busy doing stuff. Or do they have any shorts? I don't know if they have any shorts. They have shots. But they have, uh, no bungee, no bungee smugglers uh, there. You have to bring your own there, Sean. Chewies, I don't think that's allowed, but uh, bring your own Chewy, I guess. All right, bonsai sushi. So they actually have a menu as well. Bonsai sushi. Uh, they have sakis, and they got a bellini, and they have a geisha, and they have a sakatini, and then they have some wines as well. So they have that little little small menu here at bonsai sushi. All right. So also on Carnival Mardi Gras, you will find uh, the brass magnolia. So this is a brass magnolia bar um, and they have their own menu as well a whole bunch of different drinks uh, I did not have a drink at Brass Magnolia uh, but they have the Sazerac they have all kinds of different, I'm not going to read all these but they have all different kinds most of these are kind of uh, Louisiana based because this is uh, based on the Mardi Gras themed so there's all kinds of different uh, drinks as well let me know if you've been to Brass Magnolia what your drink of choice is there they have all kinds of different uh, drinks. They also have wines as well. Sparkling and white and rosé. Then I'm not much of a wine drinker. I will drink the occasional rosé and maybe a little bit of the white, but I'm definitely not a red drinker. Uh, we got Louisiana beers as well. So yeah, that was Brass Magnolia. Um, let me see. Um, Saki, uh, Josh says. Uh, did you show Alchemy already? Yes, Janice already did. I can go back uh, towards the end and I can show you that. Uh, give me Saki straight up. Don't church it up. <laughs> there you go. Uh, we'll have a picture of Bud Light Lime frozen. For yes, I would love a frozen Bud Light Lime slushy. That's for sure. John and his slushies. Uh, praline truffle sounds interesting. Yeah. Uh, those are New Orleans drinks. Yep, they are. Abita. Yep. Um, and I like a white and sweet red. Oh, awesome. There, Kaya. All right. So, Fortune Teller. This is also on the Carnival Mardi Gras. Um, this was always either closed or it was packed, and I never got a drink here when I was on a Mardi Gras. But, uh, they got some interesting drinks here. Uh, well, these aren't interesting. They got wines, of course. Uh, they've got the beer. There's your Abita again as well. And then they get into a little more fancier drinks. They got the Hurricane. That's, of course, a New Orleans staple. And they got the River Delta. It's a sangria, it looks like. El Bruxo, Crystal City Daiquiri, the Sideshow, uh, which that has uh, Bacardi. That would be rum, orange, hibiscus, pasture fruit. That sounds pretty good. Coconut lime. All right. So then here are the individual drinks that they have. So they got the Bohemian Treats. They've got the Absent Minded. They got the Venus Rising. And some of these are like special drinks. They do different things when they present the drinks. So they have like smoke or fog or it's all in the in the uh, performance of making the drink the lime and the coconut which i would have i would drink that for sure it has coconut lime foam on it yeah the golden galaxy looks looks pretty cool in pictures that i've seen in video but the golden galaxy and they've got the third eye sticking with that uh Theme. They got Buffalo Trace bourbon. Uh, some Buffalo Trace fans out there. They've got Bog Juice. Looks like they got the Bobo Balls in there or something. Uh, I got Air Mystery. Like a purple has like a little mist or fog going on. La Botanique. We got Bayou Smoke. 
Uh, we got New Moon. We've got Abracadabra, which the drink changes, I believe, from it goes from like a yellowish to purple or purple to yellowish. I can't remember. But that's out there. Changes color when you pour in the other drink. Now, this is what the, they're famous for is their crystal ball drink. So they got this bubble full of smoke and stuff. But yeah, crystal ball is uh, pretty cool. All right, so that was the fortune teller bar. Let me get caught up in the chat. Uh, who were you on the Mardi Gras with? I was with my friend on the Mardi Gras, uh, but that was awesome. That was back in February, Janice. Uh, it was a good time. I, I love to go back on the Mardi Gras. There's a lot I missed on the Mardi Gras. I'd love to go back on there. Uh, Moonlight Adventures Aquary Bar will make a fortune teller if you ask nice. Oh, okay, awesome. Cool. Uh, that's good to know. Moscato is good, Tammy says. That's good. Uh, Kaya says, I just had a fortune teller drink and it was strong, so I couldn't drink it. I had to mix it with juice. Okay. Uh, anything that doesn't drink me first is awesome. Okay, that's good. Uh, I would try Air Mystery, Janice says. Ooh, Abracadabra is cool too. Yeah. And uh, ooh, it was, it was the crystal ball. Okay, there we go. Crystal ball. All right. So this is um, the Havana bar. Now this one, You'll find this on the newer ships. Uh, but the Havana bar. And here is their menu. Oops. So they got cocktails. They got the Havana special. I'm well, just gonna we'll go through this. I uh, will just I'm not gonna list everything, but there's all the different ones. They got Cuban sodas. They got fresh squeezed orange juice too. Oh, and that was it for the Havana bar. Plus they have all your other uh, bar drinks as well too. So that's just their specialty ones they got there. All right, next is the Heroes Tribute Bar or Lounge, however you want to call it. Um, so that's on the some of the newer ships. Some, some of the other ships have been retrofitted with it. The Heroes uh, Tribute Bound. So thank you for our veterans out there. So I'm glad they have this out here for um, Carnival put this out here uh, in honor of the veterans. Uh, so here they, uh, if you buy uh, a pint, uh, we pour in a glass, we'll donate a dollar to Operation Homefront. So that's awesome. That's a good thing for Carnival to do that. So they've got uh, souvenir pint glasses as well and a Heroes Tribute cocktail with or without the souvenir glass. Here's our list of signature cocktails. So Martini, Army, Navy. we got the Blue Angel, which is right here in Pensacola, Florida. Green Beret. Heroes Tribute Cocktail, Shore Leave, Add a Wingman, Want to Play Ship, Captain and Crew, what? Okay, Captain. Um, let's see what else they got. Now, let me know if you guys have been to the Her Heroes Tribute Lounge. Let me know what your favorite drink is. Uh, so they got draft beer, they got squadron special, they got craft beer, imported beers, domestic beers. There's no Bud Light Lime there. Uh, Angry Orchard, Heineken, Dalt Beverages. You got the Trulies. Very Truly fans out there. All right, so that was the Heroes Tribute Bar Lounge. Now we're going to go on to the Java Blue Cafe. So, not uh, well, they do have spiked milkshakes here. Um, I don't have that on my menu, I don't think. Um, but this is the Java Blue Cafe. But this is where you get your coffees, all your coffee fans, espressos your frappes. So those are out there. Um, you got your uh, hot beverages. They do have your spiked coffee as well. And the milkshakes. That's what I come here for is the milkshakes. They got vanilla, strawberry, black and white, chocolate, Neapolitan. Uh, that's where I'm coming with my drink package is the milkshake. And then of course, you got all your other beverages as well. Well, that is the Java Blue Cafe. Uh, Janice says, we're going to the Havana Bar on a bar call. Yes, we are, Janice, and I will be there as well. Uh, Cuban Coffee for uh, just Kaya. And uh, Danny says, Bill, you got me looking at menus at Carnival now. I know, and we're looking at menus right here. So uh, feel free, uh, after the live, you can go back. You can pause if you want to look at these menus closer. 
All right, so the next is the Wandering Hole. Now, this is usually, uh, this is on the uh, Mardi Gras, I know. I'm not sure if it's on the other ships, but there's a Wandering Hole. And speaking of Wandering Hole, I need to water my hole with some Diet Mountain Dew. Ah, that's good. All right. So the Wandering Hole has these drinks, which I never did, never did go here. But they have the Watermelon Crush. They have Sail Away. Oops, and I switched screens. Sorry. Uh, Elderflower Spritz, Samurai. Lynchburg Lemonade. Planter's Punch. Which, that sounds good. A Habanero Margarita. And a Kentucky Mule. So that's the watering hole. Plus, you can get your other bar drinks as well. All right, moving forward. This is the Punchliner Comedy Club. Or not, I'm sorry, not, not Punchliner. This is the nightclub. So all you nightclub fans out there, this is the nightclub. Or one of the nightclubs. All the nightclubs are, are styled differently. But the nightclub has a cocktail menu as well. Uh, so they have, uh, some of them have like Amp It Up, Turntable, The Clubber, DJ's Fave. You get a disco ball? I didn't know about this. I got a souvenir disco ball for From Punch Fever. I, I hadn't. I didn't know anything about that, so that's interesting. Uh, Ultimate R&B, the rock star. So they got those different uh, drinks. Uh, let's see what else they got. Are you spicy fans? They got tequila ablaze, spicy remix. And they also have some shooters, electronic, pop, hip hop, soul. I have never ordered a drink in the nightclub, so I don't know any about these but let me know if you've been in a nightclub and if you've ordered drinks like these also they got your beers of course and all your other bar drinks domestic craft imported adult beverages cider zero proof champagne sparkling wines uh will you go to the club on the bbd uh you'll have to twist my arm janice but i might i'm not a dancer i don't dance so I will be standing on the side watching other people make a fool of themselves <laughs> with a drink in hand. Um, but yeah, I might be able, might go in there. We'll see. All right, so uh, moving forward. Uh, now we're going to Piano 88. So this is your piano bar, or one of the piano bars. This is the one that, in the Carnival Mardi Gras. And let me know, guys, in the chat what your drinks, if you had drinks at the piano bar, if you had drinks at the nightclub. Uh, so this is the piano bar. Uh, so they got different cocktails as well. They got the blue notes, music, sweet music. It sounds, that sounds good. It has everything I like. Rum, Malibu, rum. I don't know. Amaretto is okay. Pineapple juice, orange juice. Uh, I got ragtime, I want to sing. And what else they got? Uh, Girl at the end of the bar, rock star, virtuous harmony. Uh, they got martinis. So all, all uh, music themed sounding names for drinks. They even have shooters as well. They got shooters. Spicy Diva. Woohoo! The duet, order a quartet. And they even got zero proof for anybody that doesn't drink alcohol. We got the entertainer, virtuoso, and tropical rhythm. Uh, Billy will go to the club for BBD. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> I do like me some BBD. <laughs> the rum, rum, people, the rum. All right, moving forward. Oh, they got more drinks at the bar. I mean, what's a piano bar about drinks? So we got your ice cold beers, you got craft beers, you got your domestic, no Bud Light line, you got imported, you got sorted beers, beer buckets. And we are at the top of the hour, but we're going to go over because uh, I lost internet. And also, the Crown and Gilberts are not going live tonight. So we'll continue on. I got just a couple more bars left to go through. Uh, so next is the Pig and Anchor. Uh, bar, and you can find this on um, Carnival Mardi Gras as well. Uh, Karen Tammy had never made it to the piano bar. 
uh, to adventure says, well, all the cameras that will be on that cruise, I can't wait to see the footage of Captain in the club. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of cameras, that is for sure. Uh, yeah, so this is the Pigeon Anchor. So they got the Parched Pig uh, Brews. And so they've got the Amber Brew, they got Ale, they got the IPA, and they got the Porter Beers. They also have Seasonal beer, Brews as well. And then they have like a hog sampler. You can try different drinks on the sampler. They have growlers you can get with beers, 32 ounce mason jars. 64 ounces is a growler. Mm -hmm. So here's all the beers they got. So craft beers, domestics, no Bud Light Lime again. I got imported beers, zero proof Heineken. You can save money if you buy a bucket of four beers. Uh, Danny says you've not had any of these. Just tis tis, Danny. Uh, they got whiskeys too. So I got your bourbon whiskeys. Those are Buffalo Trace again. Tennessee whiskeys, Jack Daniels, Irish whiskey, Jameson's. You got your rye whiskey. Your Templeton Rye. You got the American whiskey. You got the wild turkey. Oh, here's a, you got a sampler. So you get a sample of Jack Daniels, Tennessee Rye, Buffalo Trace, Old Forester, 80 Proof Bourbon, and Wild Turkey Rare Breed Bourbon. No umbrellas in here. All right. Also, a pig and anchor piggybacks. So you can chase that shot with a piggy. So that's an option for you. Uh, Jack Daniel all the way for Kelly. Awesome. Um, let's see here. So they got uh, cocktails as well. So they got the Blackberry Bourbon Fizz, Southern Peach, Western Sour, Rock and Rye Punch. Uh, there's that Watermelon Margarita. I've heard some people like that. Uh, Kentucky Mule, Lynchburg Lemonade. Oops. Lynchburg Lemonade. Uh, they got Bloody Mary for your Bloody Mary fans. They got that there. And then you can get a regular size or you can get a 32 ounce Bloody Mary. And then you can get refills if you want. $16.95 instead of $22.95. Classics with a twist. Now, this is interesting. They got the Bacon Manhattan. So they got Bacon Infused Templeton Rye Whiskey. It looks like you get a thing of bacon in it as well. Southern Gentleman, Bourbon Smash, Bobadier. Oops, I think I took the thing off. All right. All right. And then they got Zero Proof for all you non alcoholic fans. They got homemade lemonade, different flavors. Oops, jumping ahead. Watermelon Cooler. And they've got Zero Proof Shandy. All right. So next is the Punchliner Comedy Club. So any comedy club fans? I love the comedy club. I, I usually go to the R-rated or um, X-rated uh, explicit uh, comedy. I don't usually go to the G or PG ones, but I do like the the adult ones for sure. And I've had a, a few kiss on the lips in the uh, comedy club. All right, so there's cocktails. They have Sex on the Beach stage. And they have Screw You Lucy, Zany Zombie. They got the Punchliner drink as well. Thank you, Kelly and Tim. Yeah, like and subscribe if you haven't yet. Hit that thumbs up button. We're talking about drinks tonight. Uh, we have, they have martinis as well, too. We got Ghibli Cosmo, Jokester, Whimsy Scarlet, Sweet Spicy Jester. We've got Shooters. we got the Walk the Plank. There, there's the captain's favorite, Walk the Plank. Um, I should give you all around the Walk the Plank. Uh, not your grandma, Cinnamon. We got the Woo Woo. Woo -woo. And now I've heard that drink in the um, MDR, the main dining room, because that's yeah, I always come around with shots. We got the Red Frog Rub. Uh, uh, sorry, so we're moving on. We got the Red Frog Pub. So you Red Frog Pub fans. Now I have not been on a ship that has had the Red Frog Pub, which is disappointing. 
and I don't think the Carnival Horizon has that either. Either, so I'm going to miss that as well. But here's what the Red Frog Pub offers. Uh, they do offer the uh, fish bowls, I believe, is what Anthony was mentioning earlier. Uh, they're the Red's flagship brew. Now, let me know if you had a favorite drink here at the Red Frog Pub. But they got the Thirsty Frog Red. They've got all the draft beers. They got beers of the Caribbean, Craft and Cider. They got the different drink specials for beers. They got all your cocktails. So iced tea, Jamaican Sunrise was mentioned. There's a cruiser, beachcomber, painkiller, drinking thing, mojito, tingling, tropical hurricane, frozen favorites, blended Caribbean rum cocktail, mango magic, Caribbean colada. So those are there. They have beer samplers that you can get. And then also they have dark rum samplers as well. Then they've got all your rums, because this is the Red Frog Pub Bar. It's basically it's rum bar. Uh, some white and flavored rum, so they have all kinds of different uh, rums. And then also got your dark rums. So that was a Red Frog Pub Bar. But then they also have the Red Frog Rum Bar. Um, as Secret Adventure says, Red Frog Pub is a favorite spot. Love the Red Frog Pub. Scott Smith says, Jamaican Sunrise for Scott. Uh, we like it too. Karen Tammy says, Red Frog Pub and Main Lobby. Awesome. Happy Hour on Embarkation Day is awesome. That's awesome. And I love rum. Good, Janice. I do too. All right. So this is a Red Frog Rum Bar. Let me take a drink because Captain is thirsty. Rob here, cruising on the high seas. Welcome aboard, Rob. Printing the delay since 7 a.m. Well, I had a delay in my Wi-Fi, but luckily I'm on my mobile hotspot right now. All right, moving forward. Red Frog Rum Bar. Now, that's where you'll find on most uh, carnival ships that have not been transferred over to the um, pub bar, Red Frog Pub. So you got your draft beers, of course, beer buckets. You've got your featured rums, because this is the rum bar, of course. So all those different rums. And then they've got cocktails and mojito, red rums treasure. they got the beachcomber, red remedy, uh, runner jumper, frog's island iced tea, dirty mojito, ting mojito. Oh, he's not. Oh, uh, Rob is flying. He's now even at 9 p.m. Wow, that's a long delay, Rob. Wow, that's crazy. Uh, do they have BBD? No BBD rum, unfortunately, Janice. Yeah, you have to get that in Grand Cayman. All right, moving forward. Let's see what else they got here. Uh, so they got frozen drinks as well. A Caribbean Colada, Man Mango Magic, Sangria Swirl, Blues Blue Margarita. They got souvenir glasses as well, yards of Frosty Twister, same as Blue Iguana. Soft drinks as well, plus any other drinks you want. Sometimes I get my kiss on the lips from this bar. So, if you don't have Red Frog Pub on your ship, and you don't have a Red Frog Rum Bar, then you must be on the Carnival Mardi Gras, because the Carnival Mardi Gras has a Red Frog Tiki Bar. So this is a two-story Tiki Bar on a Carnival Mardi Gras. So they have their own menu list as well, too. So then they got the pa, Pao Hana. They got the Wiki Wiki. They got the Mai Tai. They got the Navy Grog. They got the Rum Jumper. Not the Runner, but the Jumper. They got Pina Colada. They got Shark Tooth. They got the Zombie. And I think some of these drinks, they do different presentations as well, too. Uh, Rob says they will need to get some BBD rum by September. Yes, yeah, definitely. Yep, they do. Yep, they sure do. All right. Um, moving forward, let's see what else they got. They also have Tropical Mule. I know some people like Tropical Mule. Tahitian Kiss. 
three dots and a dash. Uh, I've got the Jet Pilot, uh, Blue Hawaiian, Hula Girl, Hula, Hula, Singapore Sling, Scorpion, Jungle Bird. So I, I never got a I never got a chance to get a drink here. It was always busy um, at the Tiki Bar. Uh, they do have all the kind of here come the rums. Let's see. I don't think there's BBD rum on here. They got pretty much everything else though. They even got French style rum. But yeah, I don't see BBD rum. Oh, they even got more, it looks like. We've got Spanish style rums as well. We got some Bacardi's. And we got Bayou Aged Rum. Yeah, so I don't see any uh, BBD rum. All right, moving forward, they got beers. Of course, they have the, uh, not, well, they have Tiki Frog Ale from Tiki Bar, but they also have the Thirsty Frog beers as well. They got the wheat, the red, and they even got hard seltzer. And they have different flavors. And they have zero proof for your non drinkers. They have frog grog, mermaid, and smooth seas. Uh, Antoinette's here. Welcome aboard, Antoinette. Good to have you here. That's okay, you're late. I'm I'm going late because I lost my Wi-Fi for a little bit. And also the Gilberts, Travel Gilberts are not live tonight. So we're going a little longer tonight. We're talking about drinks tonight. Antoinette, let us know what your favorite drink is on a carnival ship. Um, I see the bird, and it was finally here. Yay, Rob will finally fly. That's good, Rob. Excellent. All right. Moving forward. All right. So now, this is Rudy's Sea Grill. So this is also on Carnival Mardi Gras. Uh, you won't find this on any other uh, Carnival ship at this time. But it's on the Mardi Gras. So they have their own little set of cocktails as well. Uh, I never did eat here because uh, it's an upcharge. And I'm a frugal captain, uh, so I did not eat here. But they have cocktails. So Polaris, Sangria, Spritz, Martini, uh, Tropical Smash, Porto Margarita, Smooth Seas, Honey Sour, Island Spices. Those are different drinks they have at Rudy Seagrill. Uh, Scott says those Thirsty Frogs are good. Yeah, I do. I have tried... The Caribbean wheat. I did like the Caribbean wheat. That was pretty good. And I saw Meg. Meg was on the Carnival Valor today. And she had, and her and Paul, I believe, both had a uh, Caribbean wheat beer. All right. So then we have the Serenity Bar. So on the Serenity deck, adults only, they have a bar on most Serenity decks. They have their own menu. So they have signature sangrias. So all kinds of different sangrias. They have pictures of sangrias as well. So all you sangria fans out there. They also have cocktails as well. They have martinis. They have a peach margarita. Spritz, once you lemonade, tropical mule. They have frozen cocktails as well. There's my kiss on the lips right there. Strawberry daiquiri, margarita, mango swirl. They have skinny cocktails. For any guys watching weights, I guess. And, of course, they have wines. So, sparkling champagne, Chemin Blanc, Pinot Gris, Chris, Chardonnay, Sweet, Rosé, Pinot Noir, Merlot, Cabernet, Sauvignon, Adventurous Reds, and I got beer. So craft beers. No Bud Light Lime. What the heck? No, this, no Bud Light Lime. But I got domestic imports, beer buckets, kind of sort of beers. You got your Trulies. All right. And I believe this is the last one I have. Uh, this is the Skybox Sports Bar. So some of the carnival ships have the Skybox Sports Bar. Usually it's right next to the casino. And they have their own menu as well. So it's not the greatest menu. But they have a Skybox Martini, uh, All-Star Margarita, Grand Slam. They have cocktail. They have Bud Light. Yes, there you go. It, yeah. Bud Light's all over the place there, Kelly. 
so yeah, they have cock, uh, cocktails, they have MVP, kickoff, six man, making a double. You can have they have snacks, they have pretzels and peanuts. Um, also, they have beers as well. So, yeah, they have all kinds of different uh, drinks there. Anyways, uh, Janice had asked about the Alchemy Bar. Janice, if you're still here, I'll go back and I will show you the Alchemy Bar. Um, now, I did not include MDR. You can get drinks in the MDR as well. And there might be, like, there's the Ocean Plaza has a bar as well. So, this, this is not an inclusive list. But this is, covers most of the drinking places that are on um, Carnival. Oops, oops, oops. How do I go out of that? Uh, I was going to go back to Alchemy. Okay, here is Alchemy Bar, uh, Janice. Oh, she's here. Yeah, so this is the Alchemy Bar. This is what it looks like on the Mardi Gras. And then this is what it normally looks like. This is probably what it looked like on the Carnival Horizon. And there's your pharmacist or al al alchemist, alchemist, that's what they call them, alchemist, uh, that will be pouring your drinks. You're going to think, I know, Sir Gary, welcome aboard, Sir Gary. You missed it. I, I started an hour and 17 minutes ago, Gary, so you're late. I'm just doing, we're going, we're going right to the beginning because Janice had asked about the alchemy bar because uh, she missed it because she came in late as well. So show up on time, people. Show up on time, 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central. Be there every Saturday night. Anyways, this is the menu for the Alchemy Bar, Janice. So they have a martini selection. They got the French Kiss. They got the Deal Closer, which a lot of people like that. Mojito Martini, Perfect Storm, Spicy Chipotle Pineapple Martini, Hearts of Fire, 40 is the New 20, Cucumber Sunrise, Beautiful Bold Bertini, They've got um, the remedy. They got the pain relief. They got the quick fix. Purple sunset. Alchemist sidecar. Island old fashioned. Barrel aids. Negroni. Uh, Moscow mule. Stop! 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 Yeah. All right. I'm going back, Gary. Sorry. You can watch the replay and you can slow this down or pause it or whatever. I'm just showing this. This is the second time I'm showing this, Gary. Go back to the pineapple one. Okay, hold on. Let me go back to the pineapple one. So demanding, Gary. So demanding. I believe it's this one. Spicy Chipotle Pineapple Martini. There. I slowed down for you, Gary. That should be plenty of time to read that. Uh, where was I? Alchemist Sidecar Island Old Fashioned. Uh, Moscow Mule, Create a Punch. Well, that is going to be good. Yeah, Gary, there are a lot of good drinks here at the Alchemy Bar. You can't go wrong. Uh, let's show the basil drop is here. All right, so yeah, so that is the Alchemy Bar again. Again, you can catch the replay. You can pause the menu as much as you want. You can also look up menus, type in Alchemy Bar and menus, and you can find them. This is how I found them. This is how I found everything, as I just Googled everything. And you can find all these menus out there as well. But that is out there. That is the Acme Bar. That is the end of my presentation for drinks. So thank you guys for sticking with me through my Wi-Fi going down um, and um, staying a little bit longer since the Gilberts aren't live tonight. And, um, um, yeah, stick with me. And I had a lot to talk about. There's a lot of drinks. You cannot go thirsty um, on Carnival Ship. That is for sure. There's a lot. Uh, to drink on the ship. Uh, let me get caught up in the chat. Uh, thanks for showing that, Billy J. You're welcome, Janice. I'm glad I could show that to you. Uh, never late, always ran. Yeah, sure you are, sure you are, Gary. Sure you are. Love the alchemy bar, Antoinette says. Uh, Purple Sunset, I might try that one. That's awesome, Janice. Yeah, there's a lot of drinks to try. Uh, definitely, if you're going to drink probably five or six drinks, alcohol drink, you probably want to get the drink package because it's going to save you some money. It's expensive up front for sure for the package, but if you're going to drink that much, uh, you definitely want to get the package to save you some money because uh, these drinks are not cheap. Uh, oh, that is going to be a good one. Yep. Um, and uh, two martinis and I get naked. Oh, joy. Uh, it's going to be an interesting uh, cruise, Gary. 
Uh, Gary for any of you that I hope. <laughs> uh, Anthony's going live tonight. Awesome, Anthony. So he's going live at uh, 9 p.m. Central Time. Uh, so check him out. Um, again, also you have uh, Adventures Ahead is not going live tonight, I don't believe either. But you do have Adventure, uh, not, you have Griswold Family Vacay. They're going to go live in 30. Nine minutes. So check out this for Family KK in 90, 39 minutes. Uh, they're in their celebrity family feud. Um, and then also later after that, well, you can also check out Anthony Simone's live. And also we have the World Wrestling Vlog live uh, tonight at um, 10.30 Eastern, 9.30 p.m. Central. And then uh, we're going to talk about the referee's role in pro wrestling. So I know a lot about that. 20 years of experience as a pro wrestling referee. So I will be there talking some more tonight um, about uh, my referee experience. But I uh, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the show tonight. What does your shirt say? Oh, yeah, this is a, an Adventures Ahead shirt. So this says cruise, drink, gamble, and repeat. So cruise, drink, gamble, and repeat. So this is an Adventures Ahead shirt. I can't stand up because my green screen is right right here, and I would knock everything down. So I can't show you everything, but I'll, I'll go like this. How about this? Does that work? Cruise, drink, gamble, and repeat. Again, that's an Adventures Ahead shirt. Um, so there's your whole shirt there, Gary. Uh, Rob says, did you work for WWE? No. Um, Hopefully, I'll be able to talk about that on the wrestling blog. I've not worked for WWE, and I will tell you the reason why. But you have to watch the World Wrestling Blog to find out. Not one of my no, not one of my shirts. I got to support the creators, uh, Gary. So this is I'm supporting the Adventures Ahead because I love Josh and Mich well, I love Michelle, um, Josh, and eh. uh, but I, I love this shirt because this is this speaks my alley. Cruising, I love cruising, I love drinking. I love gambling, and I love to repeat it. So, yeah, perfect shirt for me. Actually, I have another version of it as well. Awesome. All right. Um, good show, boy. Thank you, Janice. Uh, you're a creator, uh, so where is your shirt? Well, I have I have a shirt, but mine has uh, green on it, and it looks doesn't look very good in my green screen. Uh, so I usually don't wear it uh, too often because it has a picture of a world. I got I to gotta get some newer merchandise with my captain's face on it um I, I need to work on that anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the show tonight we talked about all kinds of drinks on carnival ships non-alcoholic uh my diet mountain dew um we also talked about alcoholic drinks what your favorites were uh what all the different uh places you can get drinks on the uh carnival ship uh if you missed it feel free to check the replay and you can go back and you can see all the different menus that I showed. Again, I apologize for the Wi-Fi going out for about 10, 15 minutes. I'm still on my mobile hotspot. Um, but thank you guys for putting up with me tonight. Um, if you guys want me to talk about something else next Saturday, let me know. Um, I came up with this last minute today. I came up with this topic. Um, let me know if you guys want to talk about something else. Um, let me know in the comments. Um uh, Send me a message on Facebook in the Billy J Travels Facebook group on the group or on the page. Uh, let me know what you guys want to talk about. I'll definitely will talk about it. But uh, I thought this would be a good topic for tonight. And I'm excited for my September cruise on the Carnival Horizon. I got a free drink package, free cheers package. So I'm excited to uh, drink a lot uh, on the BBD Rum Run group cruise. All right, uh, Rob says, can you message it to me as I'm airborne when you're live? Message what, Rob? I'm not sure. Oh, when you're live. Oh, okay. I will, Rob. So, yeah, 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central on Saturday nights. But I will message you as well, too. Click that bell notification to be notified of when I go live like this or when I post a new vlog, which is usually on Fridays at the Raid Parade. So check out next Friday, Raid Parade for sure. I have a train ride video coming out with some great views, some great music. Uh, you guys are going to love it because I, I love the vlog, definitely. Did I love my Airbnb vlog as much? Nah, not really. 
But I still want to put that information out there. And I hope you guys enjoy my next vlog coming out for sure. And in September, October, I'll start putting out some more uh, cruise vlogs once I get some footage from the Carnival Horizon. Uh, Gary says I'll have to hide on the horizon. You're not going to hide, Gary. There's going to be cameras all over the place. Uh, so you better behave yourself because uh, you may be shown on YouTube somewhere. Uh, uh, free drink package. Yeah, it was an awesome uh, casino deal that I got. Uh, awesome deal. Not only did I get a free drink package everywhere on board, uh, not just the casino, but everywhere on board. So that was an awesome deal just in that. So that, I mean, that's like a $700, $800 savings right there, depending on how much the cheers package is. And then I get a $500 free play in the casino. So I get that, plus my cruise uh, cabin was only $100. And that was a hundred dollar deposit, so really it didn't cost me anything because actually they take that deposit money and they turn it into onboard credit. So really, it didn't cost me anything besides the port taxes and fees. I had to pay that um, plus the hundred dollar deposit, which I get back. Um, and I'm going to win in a casino because I love to gamble, and uh, yeah, so I'm going to win that money. Last two cruises, I've won money in the casino, and so let's make it a third time. Uh, Gary says, Billy, even though we pick on each other mercilessly, I can't wait to meet I can't wait to meet you, Gary. Um, and Gary, you've been a great supporter. Uh, Gary sent me a veggie tray um, and also some little uh, dessert things on my last cruise on the Carnival Mardi Gras, and that was awesome, Gary, so thank you very much for that. Um, also, Gary talked me into going uh, zip lining in Belize. Uh, Gary motiv motivated me uh, to do some zip lining, and I thank you, Gary, for that. Because uh, first, I got some good footage from it, uh, but also I had a good time as well. Uh, not so much walking uh, to the um, place where you have to get in the tube, uh, but I still had a great time. Uh, so I'm going to be your best friend on the horizon. Uh, yes, Gary. Um, yeah, I can't wait to meet you. It's going to be a great time. Backpack Adventures in here. Welcome aboard, Backpack Adventures. We are about ready to end the live show. It is well, half past the hour. We're already going past. But uh, peace, says Rob. Peace, Rob. We'll see you uh, later. Enjoy your flight. Uh, anyways, thank you guys for showing up. Again, I'll be going live next Saturday. Check the Raid Parade next Friday. And um, we'll see you guys next Friday, Saturday. All right? All right. Bye for now, everyone. Have a good night. Have a good weekend. Bye.